Hi, my name is Jim Donnelly, and I am Executive Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer at Bangor Savings Bank. I oversee six departments that range from commercial lending, which works with businesses to provide funding and advice, to treasury and payment services, which helps them manage their money the most efficiently. Our wealth management group will help people plan for retirement, provide 401ks, um, or manage their money through retirement. Um, our payroll company, which works with thousands of small businesses across Maine and New Hampshire. Our mortgage group, which will help every folks go from either their first home to refinancing their long home. And our branches, which help our communities all across these states with uh, individual needs. It really is a pretty fun job. Fun fact uh, might be that when I was uh, not too much older than you, when I was just graduating college, I got asked to run for office and I got lucky enough to win. So I served eight years in the state legislature. And while I was there, um, a whole bunch of things happened. But most importantly, I uh, got married and started a family. And I now uh, been married for 29 years and have three sons. Um, and so life is good. One of the things in the uh, curriculum that talks about in economics is that there are a lot of things that affect what's going on. And I think 2020 has shown us that no matter how much you plan, um, things might be different. And I think that's an example that you've used in, in some of your text work. But I want to show you just behind me is where the waterfront concerts happen. Waterfront Concerts has been wildly successful for downtown Bangor. So people come here and see concerts, they eat in re local restaurants, and they stay in local uh, hotels. But with 2020, uh, what we found is obviously with COVID, we had to shut down large gatherings like this. So as you can see, there was some construction going on. And because the cash flow had stopped for uh, the concert series, so has the construction on their upgrades. So I'm in front of the Penobscot Theater right now, and it's another business that was affected by COVID. As seating was limited, they eventually had to stop um, having shows, which greatly affected their abilities to operate this year. Well, I hope this was helpful, and I tried to show you a little bit about a couple of businesses that were affected by a change that was outside their control, and how some had to preserve cash and shut down and try to make it through to next year, and others have been able to adapt um, and continue to operate. Um, and like any economy, there are winners and losers. So if you were a swap maker uh, for COVID, your business is booming right now, and if you're like I showed in Penobscot Theater or outdoor concerts, um, you're really looking forward to next year. The economic impacts of all this you see on the nightly news and the newspapers, but it may be the most dramatic um, change that we've had in any kind of recession because we can actually go back to the day that we shut down our economy. I hope this is helpful and I know uh, You've got a great program and the teachers will continue to talk to you about the economic factors and how they work in our economy. And I wish you the very best and glad I was here to join you today.